Good morning, everybody, from Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, it's technically Salt Lake City, but I mean, really, it's West Valley, Utah. It's in West Valley is a big industrial area for uh, the Salt Lake City area. So, getting unloaded, I'll checked in for the first time in a long time. I gotta pay someone to empty my trailer. I don't really have a choice in that matter. It kind of sucks. Uh, the company does reimburse me for that, though, so that should not be a problem. Just stuff to be looking for on uh, upcoming paychecks to make sure I'm reimbursed appropriately so very beautiful view to our east snowy mountains sponsored by beauty rest the trailer right there anyway I uh, got my pre-assignment this is almost comical so I told you guys about how I wanted to be go out east and like see all 48 states and I'm tired of the west. And my dispatcher said that when I delivered my last load to Oregon, but I switched loads and came up here, as you guys know, that he'd get me something out going east. I got my next free assignment. I'm going back to California. <laughs> yeah. Not funny. Um... There is a route within my company, it's called the Western Triangle. It's basically between Southern California, Salt Lake City, Denver, Colorado, and Phoenix, Arizona. And Phoenix, Arizona is kind of like the eh part of, it's not exactly a triangle, but that's what it's called because it's mostly a triangle between Salt Lake City, Utah, Denver, Colorado, and Southern California. It's an ugly triangle, but it's a triangle. And then like once or twice a year, the people on that route will find themselves in the Pacific Northwest. Um, a lot of the ones I've spoken to, when they go up to the Pacific Northwest, they deliver to Walmart in Hermiston, Oregon. But, uh, no, I have a buddy who runs this Western Triangle. He's the one who brought me to this company. He's in Minnesota right now. No, 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 Wisconsin right now. I should be in Wisconsin. He should be here running his route. But that's okay. That's above our pay grade to figure out that mess. So... Yeah, I'm not too worried. As long as I can deliver it to Ontario, I got a couple packages at home. I, if I deliver that to Ontario, it's really close to uh, Fontana. And I'll hop in my pickup truck and run home. Uh, not even take a day. Just run home, pick up my packages, run back. Because it's stuff for the truck. Um, so yeah, actually one of the packages is the other one I'll probably leave there. One of them is my monthly supply of gum. And I got plenty of gum on this truck right now. So, yeah, we'll see. If I actually do end up delivering this load all the way to Ontario, I'm gonna, after I'm, uh, by sending my message I'm loaded, it'll ask if I'm available after I'm empty. I'll say no, and then I'm available the next day. Uh, so I can give myself whatever, it'd be tomorrow at the end of the day, run home. And uh, that's what I'll do. So anyway, as you guys can see, beautiful big business park. I'm gonna go walk while they, uh, get me unloaded all right guys I got unloaded I visit that other customer for a while how long was I there for I can't actually not too bad only three hours <laughs> three hours it took him to get unload like 680 tires off my truck so got to my uh, pickup and you can see there's a lot of us here and because I'm late for my pickup because of uh, how long it took to get unloaded and yeah, they'll get to me when they get to me so I might be here a while yeah I do not miss days like this I used to do this all the time hauling uh, refrigerated freight but oh well um, yeah, so I'm gonna edit up some videos because the, today the la my most recent video went live. At least it should have. I didn't I haven't looked and checked. I'm a bad vlogger. Um, I got a couple other videos I need to just put together and upload. But um, that's it. I'll listen to the radio, probably play some video games, and just wait for uh, them to give me a call saying that they're ready. So yeah. Alright guys, the little update is the sun's going down. I finally got into a dock. I've been here now for three and a half hours. Doing absolutely nothing. I've gotten two vlogs taken care of for a combined time spent of maybe like seven or eight minutes. 
Uh, play it on my phone. That's pretty much it. Oh, I did uh, watch Bull. So I've now, and last night I saw NCIS and NCIS New Orleans. Not in that order. So I've now seen all my TV for the week. And uh, now I'm watching The Office, just getting loaded. So, don't know if I told you guys about this commodity that I'm carrying or not, but I'll give you a big hint. I'm just outside of Salt Lake City. There's a lot of uh, salt uh, in the Great Salt Lake region of Salt Lake City. I did not tell you what I'm hauling, but hopefully you can connect those dots. So, if you can't, I feel bad for you. But I'm headed home. Well, not for any home time. I'm going to go home probably for a couple hours. I'll drive what I can tonight. Uh, I should be able to get plenty close enough to home that I can get home tomorrow, no problem. And I get run home tomorrow. Get some stuff for my hair. I think I told you guys about that. I'm using this system. It's called Regenix on my hair. And... Uh, it definitely seems to work whenever I go home. Different people make comments about it, about my hair, asking what I'm doing, so that I use as a good uh, measuring stick. But, uh, yeah, I have more treatment stuff. I was hoping to get it when I was at home. Last time, for home time, I got home like the day after I came back on the road. Uh, that's what I liked about a few different runs I had, but then got taken away. Like, if I got that run to Pennsylvania, we have a terminal in Allentown, just uh, right near where my delivery was going to be. So I would have had my mom ship my hair stuff to our Allentown terminal, and I would have picked it up there. But, you know, then that got taken away. So whatever. Um, but then anyway, yeah, I'll get home tomorrow, run home, pick the stuff up. Hopefully I get home early enough that it, I can do it. Hopefully I have dinner with them is what I'm hoping for. But I my guess is that is not going to happen. Let's see, I'll approximately be getting home. If I were to leave right now, I'd be home at 3.30 in the morning. So add about 12 hours to that. That puts me at 5.30 tomorrow evening. And that's if I take exactly a 10 hour break and then take probably a couple quickie breaks in the meantime, basically if I drive my butt off. So I'm not even gonna get to our yard in Fontana realistically until probably six-ish. So, it would be a late dinner, but I'm holding out hope that I can uh, do it. That I can get home in time. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, just to have dinner and grab my hair stuff. But, uh, we'll see what happens. Also matters on traffic. Traffic, the only questionable traffic I'll have tomorrow is going through Las Vegas, I think. Um, there'll be the regular Southern California stuff, but since it's a Friday... Peep traffic, the main flow of it will be headed the other direction into Vegas and into Phoenix and north on the 5. Going into LA should be okay tomorrow. But, uh, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, stay tuned. I just want to give you guys a little update. I realized going over my vlogs, I've left huge gaps of time uh, where I've stopped and haven't, you know, given you guys a little update. And uh, that's bad of me. So, yep, this is the situation. Nice view for sure. Getting loaded and hit the road pretty soon. Talk to you guys in about two seconds. Hey guys, gonna wrap up my day right here. Don't know how well it picks up on the camera. Enough time I broke my brights doesn't even show on the camera hardly. Anyway, I've been snow the last several hours. Pulled over because I really had to uh, use the facility. But I got two hours where I want to go. Um, just scroll, took a minute to scroll on social media. Uh, some friends of mine are actually at the Loves right now that I want to be at in uh, Cedar City, Utah. I was there yesterday. Um, and it's snowing there as well. But uh, at least right now you can even see. Uh, or maybe you can't, I don't know. Yeah, a little bit looks like. You, uh, tire tracks on the on-ramp so the snow's not that bad. It could still be icy. It's right at that temperature you know high 20s low 30s is it gonna freeze is it not is it gonna freeze is it not so definitely gonna be careful the good thing is i ain't, i got some good weight on this load so that helps but uh, i'm gonna shut up get going because my clock for the day is ticking but i'm gonna end this video guys thank you guys for watching and i will talk to you tomorrow